Greetings to all my dear friends and welcome to the Blue Cube YouTube channel. In continuation of the Adobe Animate software tutorial from beginner to advanced, in this video you will learn how to draw and design with various brushes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, my friends, I select the fluid brush tool from here. You can see that in the properties panel and in the tool section we have the settings for this tool, which we will review all of them together. But friends, this tool may be disabled for you. Because the Fluid Brush tool works on the GPU or graphics card, and if you don't have a suitable graphics card, the Fluid Brush tool will probably be disabled for you. In any case, if this tool is active for you, you can select it and in this way you can create a line or a design. If you want to know what the application of this tool is, I must say that we use the Fluid Brush tool to create natural lines that look like they were created by hand. Okay, here I can make the brush size smaller and choose a color for it from here for example, a red color. And I can draw another design or line for myself. Okay, my friends, I press the control and a button to select all the lines I drew and press the delete button. I again create some lines in this way with the fluid brush tool. Now with the free transform tool, I can select any of these lines and place them wherever I want in this way. You see the lines that overlap. Because these lines overlap, they are selected for us as one shape. But if my friends, I select the fluid brush again, and in the tool section, I disable the object drawing mode option. And I draw lines that overlap again, because this option and this setting are disabled, I can again select and move each line individually with the free transform tool. But when this option is active, I select this tool again and in the tool section if I activate it again and change the color and draw a few lines on top of each other. Because it is active now, it selects all the lines together and I can move them. In fact, it tells us that these lines that you overlap are now considered as one shape. Okay. I press Ctrl and A again from the keyboard to select and delete all. I select the fluid brush tool again and draw a line like this. So now you have learned the application of this tool. The next option, my friends, is here for us, which is called brush mode. In normal mode, when we overlap lines, let me change the brush color again and draw the lines on top of each other. You can see that the lines are placed on top of the previous line in this way. But if I come here and, for example, click on this option and select the paint behind option here and click and draw a line. You can see that this line is now placed under the previous line. The lines are placed above and I have selected this option because now the new lines that I draw are placed under this line. Now I select the paint fills only option again and draw a line again. In this case, my friends, you can see that the line I drew is only visible where I drew it on the previous line. The outer line is not visible and I can only draw and see the new line inside the previous line. I click on this option again and select the paint selection option here. Now if I draw a line in this way, you can see that the line is deleted. In this case, we must first select one of these lines. For example, I select this line and click here with the fluid brush tool. Now you can see that new lines are added for us only where we selected the line. So whichever line you select in this mode, you can only create a new line on that selected line. I select Fluid Brush again and change its color from here again in the tool section. I choose black. Finally, my friends, I click here again and select the Paint Inside option. This tool creates lines on top of other lines and also inside combined lines. In general, this option behaves a bit strangely and I usually don't use it. I select all these lines again and delete them. I select the Fluid Brush tool again. Here is an option called Lock Fill. Its job is to lock the color. If I draw a line, you may not see any effect of this option. If I click on it again, there is still not much difference. But if my friends, I select the gradient mode in the fill section and draw a line again in this way. I also draw another line. You see that the line starts with red and then shows me a different color each time. Again, if I draw another line here, 
you can see that the lines have a slightly different color and the color changes along the line. I press Ctrl and A again to select all the lines and delete them. I draw a line again. This time I click on the lock fill option and draw a line again in this way. In this case, you can see that the gradient mode completely changes and actually fixes the gradient color for us. So you saw in the previous case that the color changes gradually and gives us different colors, but in this case we apply the gradient color ourselves. I press Ctrl and A and delete. I select fluid brush again. I choose black from here. The next option we have here is for using the pen. If you are using a tablet or laptop that has a pen and can use the pen to draw designs, you can use this option. If I activate this option in this way, you can see that the velocity option is activated for us here. That is, if I turn it off, it is deactivated, and if I turn it on, the velocity option is activated. This option adjusts the speed. That is, when I draw a line in this mode, you can see that the beginning of the line is thicker and the continuation of the line is thinner. I draw another line again and you can see how it works. But if I change the speed from here and move it to the right, the beginning of the work becomes thinner, see. And if I draw the line slowly, there will be a few changes, but if I draw the line with more speed, you can see that the line becomes thinner at the beginning and thicker at the continuation. So this option allows us to create lines and designs in this way with pen pressure. I am doing this for you now with the mouse. So this option is related to the speed of your hand. The more you increase the speed, the thinner the line becomes. I press Ctrl and A and delete the lines. And I tilt the velocity to the right a bit to show you the difference in the lines. I press Ctrl and A and delete. I'm disabling this for now. When my friends I activate the use pressure option here, you can see that the pressure option also exists here and is activated. See, if I turn it off, it is deactivated and I can turn it on again. Now I can adjust the thickness of the pen with pen pressure here. If I make it very low, the line is created in this way, and if I increase it, you can see that the line becomes much thicker and you can use this option to adjust the thickness of your pen. I delete all the lines again. I put this in the middle. So my friends, you have learned this option too. These options are also available in the settings of other brushes. But here you can reduce the clarity of the lines or shapes you create. If I reduce the opacity and draw a line with a larger size, you can see that the clarity of the line for us will be less. If I make it even lower, you can see the difference here. I increase the opacity again and set it to 100. You can see that it was very light and now we can see the clarity of the line completely and 100% here. Okay, I'm deleting all the lines again. At the beginning of this video, I said that the size option adjusts the size of the lines we create. The next option we have here is stabilizer, which adjusts the number of points on the line we will create. For example, I reduce its value a lot and draw a line like this. Now I increase the value again and try to draw another line in the same way. If you pay attention, you will notice that this line is now much smoother. I will tell you the reason now. If I right click here and select the subselection tool and select two lines, it is clear here that there are many more points. If I zoom in a bit here, you can see the number of points. Here the number of points is less, and here, because the stabilizer value was at a minimum, there are more points for me. I click here again and come here and set the zoom value to 100% in this way. Now I select the fluid brush, you can see that when the stabilizer value is high, a smoother line is created. I delete all the lines again. I draw another line. I reduce the stabilizer value a bit. The curve smoothing option makes the curves smoother and softer. The more I increase this, the smoother and softer the line curves become. If I reduce its value, you can see that it loses its smoothness. The taper option creates a tapered shape for the lines. If I increase its value and draw a line, you can see that it gives us a tapered shape. If I reduce its value, the tapered shape of the line disappears. I increase its value a bit. 
The angle option also changes the angle of the pin. We can use all of these options in the way I told you. I delete all the lines again. I draw a new line. I also explained what these two options do. Make sure this option is enabled to match the pen scale to the scale of our scene and image. I will not explain this option yet because we have not reached the symbol section. But in the end, if you have created a brush and need to save it, click this save as preset option and you can use the same settings you made again. Okay, I click delete preset here to delete it because I don't need it. I delete all the lines. Friends, the next tool we have here is the classic brush, which is much simpler than the previous tool. Just select it and adjust its size from here. We can also choose the type of brush from here. For example, if I select the circle pen, it creates a line like this. If I change the brush type and draw another line, the line is created diagonally. We can also choose other modes for it. We can change its color. The opacity value, which I told you about in the previous tool. You can change it like this. I also fully explained the above option to you. I delete all the lines. Friends, if you want to use this tool and save a brush, after selecting the brush type and other settings, you must click on this option and save your brush. In this way, you can use the same brush later. You can change its angle, and in this way, you can also change its shape and form in this way. If you click the OK button, this brush will be saved for you. In this section, the new brush has been created and you can quickly select it and use it again. By increasing the smoothing value, the line that is created will also be smoother. And finally, if I select two lines here with the subselection tool, you can see that in this case the number of points is much higher, and in the previous case where we had a smoother line, the number of points is less. These are very important in animation, my friends. Also, with the subselection tool, you can move any of these points and create new shapes for yourself in this way. You can also select any of these lines with the free transform tool and make them smaller or larger. You can rotate it, and if you also hold the shift button, you can make the shape smaller or larger proportionally from this corner. You can also change the color of the lines from the object section. Well, my friends, this was all I had to tell you about the fluid brush and classic brush tools. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe and please like the video. See you later.